Morning. How are we doing? Welcome to this uh, first episode of a new series that I'm starting to do with fishing. Uh, some of you may know that I do enjoy a bit of fishing from time to time off the shore, off the beaches and off the cliffs, etc. But now it's time to take it up a step. Uh, you, can, you can make your own fishing more interesting by it means catch once a week, once a month, once every couple of months or something. Uh, I'm choosing to try and catch um, a 10 pound bass or round about the area, may, maybe even more. It has been done in the area a few times and it could well happen again. You know, so why not, why not give it a go? Uh, this isn't in any way uh, a tutorial, although I will be showing you some of the things that I'll be uh, doing while I'm fishing. Uh, because things that work for you may not work for me and vice versa it depends what the bass are like in the area it depends what kind of ground that you're fishing on uh, it is a mildly realistic goal but you know worth a go so we'll, we'll see how that goes uh, for a mission like this you'd be better off forgetting everything that you know or everything that you think that you know and you know, try and start from the beginning go back to basics and uh yeah, try try to change if something's not working try and change something whether it's uh, a different tide a different time of day uh, different amounts of surf different uh, different baits different lures etc you know just if something's not working try and change something and then see how that goes uh, this will include um, frozen bait uh, live bait uh, I'm also going to try um, I, I do a bit of lure fishing anyway uh, I'm also going to try fly fishing as well, which is uh, something that I've not done before. So you'll get to see me try that out in the sea. Uh, so right now we're going to head to my first mark uh, just down the road. It's one of my, one of my favourite spots to fish at high tide. It can go about three or four foot up, up the cliff. So you know there's there's uh, plenty of sea there to catch more than just bass, but it, it's been one of my favourite spots all year round. It's uh, proven quite a few. Uh, proven quite fruitful. Uh, it's surrounded by picturesque views and uh, lovely little beach huts. Um, and yeah, like I say, it's just my go-to place. So that's where we're gonna start. It's only a short drive to where we're going, but because I've got my camera and stuff with me, I don't wanna get it wet, so I can just leave it in the truck. Uh, yeah, it is raining, but I'm not bothered about that because I've got all my waterproofs on. But it's really more the wind that uh, tends to stop me. If it gets too too windy, you know, you, 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 you struggle to see what the line is doing. And it, it, it could just generally make everything just 10 times more harder than if it wasn't as windy. So, But tonight we're, we're doing all right so far. Last night I was in the workshop instead because it was just far too windy, it really picked up. Let's get past these uh, little beach huts. Do it, I think. Let's try and navigate our way down this bank. Should be interesting. Well, hey.
Uh, tonight I'm going to be using some squid. Nice couple of couple of lumps of it. There's not many things out there that don't like squid. You know, so even if you don't catch bass, there is a chance of cod tonight as well. Both of which love a good squid. Saying that, so do uh, so do your smooth hounds and That's what I really want, just one nice great big bait. Something that they can't resist. I could go for a cocktail, you know, add some crab to it or something, but it's gonna keep it simple tonight. There we go. Now all I have to do is loaf it out into the sea and then we wait. Stick my tip light on so you can see what we're doing. I find it's best to put your light on after you've cast, otherwise, you stand a strong chance of losing it while you're casting. Now we can see those nipples as and when they come. Spent uh, spent many evenings on this spot. It's it's uh, proved quite fruitful over time. And everything's like smooth hound, uh, dogfish, obviously bass. Uh, cod is really good in the winter. Uh, now I spent Christmas days down there, New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve. And strangely, they seem to be the best days. Even going around to Appledorf or some Whiting, but yeah, this is definitely without a doubt. One of my favorite spots around here. 
I'm trying to keep my head torch off as much as possible as well, so the so any, any potential fish in the area don't know that we're here. I may well be able to see that tip light though. Normally if I wasn't filming I'd be listening, listening to something like Radio 4. Their uh, comedy stuff is brilliant. And you can download it as podcasts when you're at home, when you've got the internet. So when you're out and about, you don't need to stream it. You can just play it straight from your phone. And they have got some really funny stuff on there. You, know, you can download, I don't know, three, four episodes, and then you've got hours worth of entertainment. But at the same time, I do have my own company and my own thoughts. I can quite happily get lost in my own mind, thinking about many different things. So, either way, it's never boring. I can't remember if I explained or not, but high tide is at about 10pm tonight. Uh, we're on about 9 o'clock at the moment, so the idea is to fish an hour either side of the high tide, and that should give us the best chance. wasn't getting any bites after half an hour so I thought I'd reel in just to see if the crabs have been at the squid but it looks alright actually, it doesn't look too bad. I've just pulled it apart slightly and one of the hooks will come out so I'll replenish the bait and chuck it out again. I don't usually fish off this particular part when the uh, tide is so low. I usually wait till the uh, tide, uh, until the sea has come up uh, a good uh, couple of feet. But, you know, I, I've always done the same thing here, and that's why I'm just having a bit of a change tonight. Just do something a bit a bit different. So I do know, well, I say I know, but generally bass do like to feed in shallower water. And they're, they're quite, well, very well armoured. So they can withstand being battered against the, uh, the rocks and the cliffs. So you never know, just having shallower water might just give us that edge tonight. Not a single bite tonight, which is peculiar. Would have thought of at least have a, a couple of nibbles and seize this rough and... Now it's come high, but yeah, on about 11 o'clock now, so we've done an hour either side. This tonight doesn't seem to be our night, unfortunately. Yep, squid is completely untouched. But you know, that's that's fishing for you. If you caught them every time, it would be called catching, not fishing. We get this lot cleared up, get it back in the truck and then head for home. I'll tell a lie, upon closer inspection, we have a bunny. Quite a big fat one as well. <laughs> so it didn't quite blank and it's still alive so I'll pull that back into the sea. It's not even on the hook, it's just chewing on a bit of... <laughs> Chewing on a bit of squid. <laughs> there you go, little bit. Ready? One, two, three. And there off it goes. Uh, that was still a little adventure. I'm gonna head back to the workshop, get de-kitted, clean everything off and etc. And I bought some uh, scones earlier. Yeah, don't judge me, but uh, unfortunately, I'm unable to eat jam and cream to go with it. Because of me IBS, it just upsets my stomach too much. So I'll have a bit of uh, butter on those. That should be a nice way to 
wind down the evening um, but yeah thank you very much for watching this first episode of a new series uh, I'm, well, I'm looking forward to making the, the next ones already I've pretty much planned where to go and what we're going to do uh, but until then uh, I'll most likely be doing some more to the soapbox if the weather carries on like this uh, so that'll be something else to look forward to yeah cheers very much hope yourselves a good one and uh, fingers crossed I shall see you at the next one thank you very much